Right lads, uh, John here. Um, Skyling vid, quite a few of us mentioned about it. So here we have a blank. The blank has already been scaled in the past and the handles come off so I'm going to have to be careful where I'll put the rivets in the new one but um, it ain't a problem easy enough. Chunk of diamond looks here. Red, blue stripes. Without further ado, get the shape of the handle which I want. You can see, form the scale, always put a bit extra on as well because you can always take it off. All I'm going to do now, rip that out on the bandsaw. Now what I'm going to do is rip that straight down the centre of that. There we go lads, there's the two scales. Scales done, now to the catapult. Okay guys, there's your two flat ends. So what you want to do now, form the angle on the knees, bring it right the way down. What I want to do is bring both of them to a 45 degree and I'll get back to you when they're done. Okay guys, took both my scales down. As you can see, flat end to the catapult frame. Scales are cut oversized for the frame as I'll bring them in after. If you look at that now, see how they fit on there. Uh, no gap anywhere around. Have a nice flat edge. What I'm going to do now, this won't need to be done on any others, uh, it's just I don't want to drill for the same rivet holes. So I'm going to have to mark where that rivet is, where that rivet is. And where they're rivets I'm just so I'll make sure when I put the new rivets in I don't go for the same holes it might throw it off and uh, now we're gonna glue them on guys simple as that so I'll just get some glue mixed up and uh, get back to you okay lads got some uh, epoxy mixed up here and I'm sure I don't need to tell you how to do this <laughs> get it on slap it on can never have enough of this stuff to be fair because what it all squashes out and fills every little gap or it'd be that. I always put it on both sides as well. Like so, spin her over. This is just a normal two part mix epoxy. This is the rapid one that sets within 10 minutes or so, depending on the weather. You can get all sorts of different ones to be fair. but. Basically the only job the glue's doing is just to hold it in place while the rivets are in as I'll hold it but with the glue as well you know it's solid as it gets. So here we go, clamps in. Making sure the scales are level, it's a bit awkward here because I'm having to hold it for the camera and not how I normally do it but we'll get around it. And there you go. Put another clamp down this end. Get glue all over it. <laughs> Can always move them about a little bit to even them up, like so. You can see now they're perfectly even. Then 
tighten clamps up, tighten the top clamps up, wipe a bit of the excess off at the top. I'm just going to put the bottom bit of the handle in the workbench there as well just to bring that in like so. That's it guys, all clamped up, I'll get back to you when it's dry. Okay guys, it's all securely glued in place now, to be fair the glue would hold it on its own but obviously I'm going to put rivets in, just going to bring it to shape now on the flat wheel, like so. Okay guys, I've uh, done the shape and thrown out some reds, blues, blacks, everything. Once that's rounded, that'll look lovely. I'm just going to mark up for my rivets now, and I'll show you how to put the rivets in. Okay guys, uh, you can see that, I've got my rivets marked up. Uh, yeah, I'm using a 4mm drill bit as I'm using 4mm rivets. You need to use the size drill bit to match rivets and you want them to fit tight. Okay lads, drilled my holes, got my four rivets cut, mixed myself some epoxy glue up. So if you pack the hole with glue, you can never get enough of this stuff. The more you can get in there, the better. So you can see that's filled the hole. Then get your rivet, roll it in there as well. Be tight fit this well. You want it to fit tight guys, they're no good if they're loose, they look terrible as well if there's gaps around the rivets. Basically just to this on all of them now. Fill the hole, get some glue on the rivet, knock it in. Same again. Done this hundreds if not thousands of times so I can do it quick now as it's something I've done a lot of rolled in the glue I guarantee this will never ever come off not at all balls There you go guys, leave all the excess glue on and see how tight them rivets fit. I'll leave that half hour and I'll get back to you and show you how to finish it. Okay guys, got the rivets in place now. Uh, it's just a matter of levelling them off with a Dremel. It's a bit awkward because of the way I'm holding the camera up, but I'll try and show you. Obviously using safety goggles because you don't want bits of metal kind of way to take it As you can see that rivet there is flattened now, obviously when it's sanded it'll, well it's already to be fair smooth, but obviously I'm going to repeat that process now on all the rivets and get back to you. Okay guys, I've flattened the uh, rivets off now, as you can see both sides all flush. So now with a Dremel and a 60 grit sander, it's just a matter of rounding the edges off, so I'll round it all off and uh, I'll get back to you again. Okay, then now I've got the rough shape in, the shape I want, the rivets in place, etc. Now what I want to do is go all over it with a fine 120 grit Dremel, taking all the glue off the fork, levelling it up and just bringing it into shape ready for sanding. Okay, now I've took all the um, glue off the fork and that stripped it all back down to the um, basic spare metal. Now I'm just going to go over it with a uh, 180 grit, 240 grit, 500 grit and uh, wire walling so I 
take it through the sands now and um, get back to you when I'm ready for wire walling. Okay lads, using the wire wall, I'm just going over all the metal and the dime looks like to bring to a mirror finish as you can see. See your face in that lads. Uh, dime locks, join, smooth as you like, you know you wouldn't fit anything in between there, no gaps anywhere around it all. Uh, rivets, fit flush, smooth as a baby's ass. you know that's never coming off. And the more time you spend wire walling it and polishing it, etc., then it's you know it's done. The only stage after the wire wall now is a bit of a polish and a buff. Uh, I use a bit of brasso, a bit of anything really, just a nice clean rag, give it all a good shine and a buff. And that's job done, lads. That's how you scale the catty. Uh, hope this has helped you out, as I know there's a few people wanting to try it. Uh, everybody's got their own way. Some people might do it totally different to this, but uh, this is the way I do it, lads. So uh, there you go. And Marcus, I hope you like it. Cheers lads, uh, be sure to check out Gamekeeper Catapult's Facebook group, uh, be sure to uh, order anything you want on the email address at the top of the screen, be sure to check out the new forum we shot of the month, the full range of catapults and everything, with a link on the bottom of the screen, also got links on the, my YouTube channel, on my um, main channel on the right hand side. So that's about it guys, uh, cheers, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful to some of the lads, all the best.